This is Linnea Blair with Advisors on Target with your Tech Tip of the Month. This month we're going to be talking about how to create a distribution list in Outlook. The really good use of this is if you want to be sending multiple emails out to the same group of people, it's really useful to be able to have a distribution list so you can send out an email with one click versus having to pick a number of email addresses or type them in each and every time you want to send an email to this group of people. So go ahead and open your Outlook and choose the contact section. That's where I am right now. Then you'll want to go to the upper left hand corner and pick the menu option that says new. Now normally this is where you would create a new contact, but if you click the menu item you'll have the option for distribution list. Go ahead and click on that and a new dialog box will come up. The first thing you'll need to do is select a name for your distribution list. I'm going to call mine test. Then you'll want to select members. You can either choose select members or add new. Selecting members is a lot easier in my view because you can pick from people that are already in your email contact list versus typing in new email addresses. So go ahead and click on select members. Then you're going to get another dialog box that comes up giving you the option to select from the members that you have in your contact list. And here we have the option to select from several different directories. I'm going to click on contacts. And as my contacts come up, I'm going to select a few people to put on this test distribution list. After you've selected the first person, on your keyboard, on the lower left hand corner, press the control key and hold it down. As long as you're holding the control key down, you can continue to select additional members to put on your group. Once you've finished selecting the members that you want to be in the group, let go of the control key and click on the members tab here in the lower left of your dialog box. And then click on the OK button. Now here you are, you've inserted all these three people into your distribution list. If you want to remove anyone, you can simply highlight their name and click on the Remove button. And at any time, you can select additional members or add new members that are not already in your contact database. If you want to add these people to a certain category, in the lower left, click on Categories. The categories will come up. You can edit the master category list if the categories do not fit your particular needs. I'm just going to click on Holiday, hit OK, and then Save and Close, and my distribution list is complete. Now if I want to send an email to this group of people, I know they're called Test, I will just simply go to the T in my alphabetic directory here in Outlook and I will select test and you can see that it's a group because it has two people's heads in the corner of the title bar here. And go ahead and double click on that and it brings up the box again like we just saw previously. Go to actions, new message to contact, and you're ready to send an email. I hope this was helpful. Thanks and we look forward to talking to you next month.